with Scrap Saturdays. And I just love the sun. Oh, you can see me dancing in my screen. <laughs> awesome song. Probably the only thing that sucks about doing the live video is that I can't play music because I love it so much when you're in the zone, when you're crafting. You know what I mean, right? But this song, I think it's called Better To Be Loved by Francisco Yates. It's just so... Wasn't that so much fun? Yay! I'm okay. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm okay. We had weddings, baptisms, showers, baby showers, babies being born. Yeah, a lot of snow. This is sadly the same layout I left off on like four weeks ago. So, <laughs> Let's attempt it. How are you guys doing? Salut, Celine. Hello, Tuesday. Hello, Suze, Jenny, uh, Robin. There's so many of you. I, hello to all of you. I feel like we're all, you know, talking to each other within our, our comments and our messages. And Jenny, absolutely, I would love to have tea with you. Tuesday, if you're watching this, Rick Grimes is mine. Sister Wives? Hmm, you had me there. I was thinking, do, can I move to a place that's warmer and we get to share Rick, Rick Grimes? Maybe. Um, just awesome stuff that you guys are coming up with. I subscribe to a whole bunch of new people who are fabulous. 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 I don't even know. I feel like we're connected, but you don't see me. I don't see you. Just awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, putting up videos is a lot of work. Like, um, Jenny was saying that she had to delete all her music. And, you know, that's very sweet of you. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm that nice. I'd keep, I'd keep my music. You saw that? I would keep my music on my phone. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just life, right? And now it's March and today's a Friday because I'm off on Fridays and I've been working like a dog. Yes, I have. Um, and the snow is melting. Yay! And the sun is coming out. Woohoo! And uh, let's see what else. Um, we're going to slowly move my craft room downstairs to the spare toy room because <clears throat> my kids really don't use the toy room anymore. And we need our we need a guest room upstairs. I've I've hogged this uh, spare bedroom enough. But it's hard. It's sad. I, I don't want to kind of like you know, sorry for the language, but half asset type, you know, I don't want to just do it for the sake of doing it. I really want to do, you know, a room or a space where it's going to be conducive to the way that I scrapbook, but also fresh and clean, if that even makes sense, because this room is cluttered. Yeah, I'm going to have to really think about purging a lot of stuff, which can be healthy because I've been crafting for many years, and I think you're probably tired of me saying that this paper is 5,000 years old because... Yeah, some of the stuff in my room is really old, so let's see. That's it, right? Yeah, don't mind my nails. I know I have to redo them, but it was either make this video or do my nails, so you know. And I'm doing laundry, and oh, I've been going to my mailbox because I'm waiting for my next Scraptastic kit. And tomorrow we're having another scrapbooking extravaganza at my sister-in-law's house. So I'm partially packed because I didn't really unpack from last time because I didn't even have a chance like a breath or a moment to stop and just you know but then that's not the truth I've been watching Game of Thrones catching up before it starts again because I love Game of Thrones awesome yeah I think that's it right is that all that we're talking about mm, good all right so this layout 
This little piece that you see sticking out here, I'm gonna just flip it out because eventually I have to, is actually from my notebook that I do and write down all of my ideas for my pages. I don't have a sketch for this one. This is kind of sort of on the fly. And again, I started this layout a month ago, two months ago, and it's literally sat on my desk, on my ruler like this. Sadness. This is a fabulous picture or photograph of myself and my husband. It's really raw. It's not edited. It's very up close. You can see like all of our wrinkles and stuff, but I love it so much because my husband has the most beautiful blue eyes and we're genuinely smiling. I think we were having a silly moment where we were holding our camera up close and just being, you know, goofy as we are and totally, totally love, love, love this guy. Yep, it's disgusting after so many years. I really, really, really love him. He's a good cat. I'm going to keep feeding him and he can stick around. So yeah, I'm, most of my stuff is either from Scraptastic or just, you know, odds and ends that I have lying around here. And the title of my page was Because. And I'm using Technique Tuesday stamps and I don't have it with me. You're going to have to bear with me because of my packing and unpacking. Um, it's Allie Edwards. And it might be like love words or something like that, but you'll forgive me, right? You owe so my recording stopped and sometimes my camera does it. I don't know why I get like three minutes the first time and then I get 12 minutes the second time. Yes, the woes of recording. So you're just gonna bear with me because I am going to set my timer. Timer, timer, timer. So that I know what I want to do here and sorry okay 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 I think we got this I think we got this I don't know sometimes I think should I invest in a camera like you know a video camera but anyway I don't want to get off topic because you know how I do that so yes, I got all these little letters and yada, yada, yada stuff. Okay, so I want to do a nice fun edge just like Sue's does. And I see that her stuff is just, just so fluffy and girly and cute and awesome. And she reuses all of her stuff. And so it's like I always tell you, if we're spending all this time, which I do, I honest to God watch YouTube like it's a television series for me. I don't even know if that even makes sense, but I'm faithfully watching, you know, pretty much everything that everyone else is doing and everything that everyone else is watching, right? Because you can, you can see what you've liked and hopefully we're supporting each other, which I think we do, and other new and upcoming people. And I go in spurts. Sometimes the winter time is too long here. And then, you know, when I sit and think about what I'm watching and what I'm doing, it's when I have the most fun. So I think the other side of this paper, this polka dot paper, it's from October afternoon. I don't know if I want to layer my photo with that. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know I kind of want it hanging off the edge on this side and it's just so funny because I, I was watching uh, Tracy from Mercy Tierra and she just did her her video and she put her photos onto the left hand side and I commented and she answered me Woo! I felt like it was like royalty and answering my uh, comment it's so awesome she said to me um, uh, that yes, she tries to variate where she puts her photos, but she does notice that, you know, myself and herself, we always tend to put our photos off to the side. So it was just so funny. And I, I'm not liking that layer. Um, it was just so funny that, uh, you know, 
You guys are gonna have to hang on one second. I, I feel like I need to get one of those, you know, the take things from the movies. What do you call those? The take two, take three? Oh, that was my husband calling me. And because he was so paranoid that I didn't answer the house phone, he was calling my cell phone, and it was just so annoying while I, <laughs> so I answer the phone and I say, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> and he's like, oh, sorry. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. You see? You see? No time, right? No rest for the wicked? Where was I? <laughs> I don't want to layer that one underneath this piece of paper. I don't know. It doesn't give me the layering vibes that I want. I don't have my 6x6 six six paper pads with me. They're all downstairs. They're all packed up. And I don't know what kind of color I want to bring in here. I really like that. Okay. Never a dull moment. So yes, I know last time I told you guys that I was going to do like a, a scrapbooking type vlog maybe. You know, when I was at my sister-in-law's house for Scrap Saturday. But it didn't happen. And I keep thinking of it like it's haunting me. Like I want to do it. And I was telling my husband, you know, maybe I should do it tomorrow. Maybe I should, you know, bring the camera... I just don't want to get anyone all like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be on video. And I don't know if that's the response I'm going to get. Maybe they're going to be very supportive. I'm not sure. Okay, so I seem to have turned this polka dot paper kind of on an angle. And I really like the way that looks. And sometimes I just get into that kind of thing where I like the angle look. I don't have my normal, usual ot light. I think that's what it's called. So it's packed to go to my sister-in-law's house. It's downstairs. Yes, it's way too far for me to go and get it. I'm sorry. So it's just going to be a little bit dark. And I don't know if I want to add anything else on the side. Like a pop of something. Ooh, isn't that so pretty? So yes, it's so nice to see everybody's different style on YouTube. I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, I can't believe, Jenny, you've run out of photos. Are you kidding me? Just keep doing those old ones that you're doing with your kids and your family. Because if you scrapbooked all of those too, then we really need to get together and give you an award. Because that's amazing. How could you have done all those? I don't think I'll ever get cut up. Do you think I'll get cut up? I don't think so. I have boxes and boxes. Boxes and boxes of photos. And I have photos just like everyone else does. Some were on memory cards. Some were on a computer. I, have... I think I'll have to like take a class or something before I even know what's going on with that. So yes, it's always nice to see, you know, sometimes um, I'm watching videos and uh, there's a few, few of you out there who are scrap lifting like Mandy. Hi Mandy. And I love to see your take on something that I've watched and also fell in love with. Because I think that's totally awesome to see someone else's take on our favorite types of layouts. I think I'm going to have to cut this down a wee bit so that I can angle it the way that I want to. And yes, I'm going to keep that strip. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to redo my craft room um, downstairs. But kind of bittersweet. I don't have windows downstairs. Like I have these big beautiful windows in here. 
And uh, yes, these are not complaints at all because I realize that so many of you out there don't even have, you know, a room like I do. So by no means am I complaining. I'm just talking with you, letting you know what I think. Because I do know that I am absolutely, completely spoiled. And I am so blessed to have what I have. No. Nope, no more color. I'm not adding any more color. I'm kind of excited to see what the letters and everything else will do. So I'm ready to go down with my base paper. Yes, yeah, so I know I'm very, very, very blessed and I have a very supportive hubby. Yes, I do. But I'm also a good person too. I'm a good cat too. I take care of him. We take care of each other. But T is truthfully, I mean, extremely supportive to the point where I'll just suggest something and I'll, you know, say something bittersweet like, I think the kids are not really using their playroom anymore and I've noticed that myself, I kind of feel lonely up here sometimes. I mean that sometimes, because sometimes I really like my alone time, but sometimes I avoid crafting because I'm not with the family. And, and they're down doing their thing, and our family room is kind of a huge L shape, right? So everyone's doing their thing, but still together. But I always find that if I'm up here, then I'm not together with them doing their thing. Did that even make sense, what I just said? Yes, it did. And so I feel, you know, that I just, I want to be a part of that. I want to be there. I want to see what their inside joke was or what they giggled about. Or Am I missing a stamp here somewhere? The I love you. I had one on the top. Okay, I'm sure you'll all tell me in the comments where it is because I can't see it, but that's okay. Did I pick it up with something? Yeah, wasn't there like a small one up here? Real life people, this is real life happening right now. I'm having a scrapbooking moment. Hmm, okay. I'm not gonna worry, I'm not. It will turn out, I'm sure. Turn up, turn up. Anyhow, so yes, that is the story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so this one I wanted off the page completely. Yes, off the page completely. You know I'm gonna be raising my corners because I love raising my corners. I love the dimension on there. Yes, I spelt because wrong. Thank you so much. I heard you. Yes. So now, the second thing that I didn't know um, what I wanted to do was whether I wanted to use the gray shadow ink or bring in black. But I believe... I'm going to do the gray. I try, I really try to change my style to make it so that I'm doing something totally different than what I do. You know, try to put less embellishment or, you know, do something that is, sorry, I just had to restamp it and it's still not giving me what I want, but that's okay. Um, and yes, that is the color that I want. But when you get lost in scrapbooking and you're totally in that zone, you know, um, the zone that Robin was just talking about the other day, the zone where you're just so going for it that you don't know when to stop, sometimes it's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it's exactly what you need to do. That's the freedom of scrapbooking. That's the whole therapeutic part is when you get so lost in it 
when your mind gets so freed from, you know, it's sad to say, but the truth is everyday stress, just everyday life. And you just go for it. And all of a sudden when you come to and you've, you know, finished that transcending moment where you're just like, wow, look what I made. I love it. That's what I wish everyone would go through so that they would understand because they've always asked me, hi, a scrapbook. Oh my God, I would never do that. I don't know how. But you just lose yourself, right? So now my mom is calling me. <laughs> Does that sound weird? I have to go now. My mom's calling me. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today, and they know that I'm off. But I'm choosing it to spend it with you guys first, because I think that you'll be mad at me. If I take one more day without uh, making a video. Did that fit there? Anyhow. Yeah, get lost in your scrapbooking. Lose your mind. At least do it on a few layouts and really, really push through it. Let's see how much fun it is. And when you look up, even if it's a big jumble of a mess, like not that it's gonna be, I'm not trying to, but even if it is, who cares? In that moment that you had fun playing, that's all that matters. Okay, so yeah, that would be crooked so we're gonna fix this ooh these stick down very well I'm lifting up paper here I have to get into the habit of putting extra glue on my um, on my letters because I'm losing some of my titles and I'm so lazy. I'm a lazy scrapbooker like that. I don't put uh, titles down with extra, extra glue, but I'm loving the way this is turning out. I really am. And I have these little wood veneer hearts from uh, Scraptastic that I've never used. I don't know what kit they came from, so please forgive me. And, uh, my timer is going off. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to take the stickers off the back or the backing off the. Okay, so I glued down these letters and I found these little random punched out hearts. I think it's from a recollections little heart punch that I bought from the dollar bin. And I really like the color that they add to the page and I called my mom back and she just wanted to know if there was any days that I needed help to take care of my kids for um oh, I like that there for March break because it's March break next week and I didn't take out, didn't take off the whole week. I just took a couple of days off to be with my kids. It's kind of hard to find people to do my job or to take my place at my work. We're, we're shorthanded, so I kind of feel guilty that I'm not really going anywhere. Oh, and while I was talking to my mom, I found where my stamp was. It got stuck to the bottom of my trimmer. <laughs> And I laughed so hard and she's like, what are you laughing about? And I said, I found my stamp, but it didn't make sense to her, right? She has to watch my video. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and so I was saying to her, I says, you know, Alan was calling me, Alan's my husband, and then I ignored him and then the phone kept ringing and then you're calling me and I just sat down to scrapbook and she's like, oh, and uh, I told her, but I, you know, I've gotten a lot of things done, which I did. I've, I've already gotten two loads of laundry done. I've washed all the bathrooms and uh, I scrubbed out my sink because I've opened up my curtains and my blinds because usually it's like, you know, 
we're in lockdown mode for winter because every little crack brings in more cold. So I kind of started to see all this like dirt and dust and my blinds need some severe, you know, vacuuming and wiping, but I just ignored that today. I thought, no, and I made the beds, you know, the usual stuff, right? It's the stuff that I don't see Monday to Friday because I'm at work or Monday to Thursday. And then on Friday, I'm like, Ugh. you know, like the girl from the Croods, you know, that caveman cartoon. She's always like, Ugh. that's how I feel. That's what I do on Fridays when I walk around my house. I'm like, what? What is this mess? But it's okay, right? It's the little things. It's okay. All right. So now I do have my gold letters out too. And I don't know how, you know, the sparkly gold and the silver will go. But I kind of wanted to introduce that. I kind of didn't want to. I'm not sure. Because you are my sunshine. Um, my favorite memory, making memories. Now I'm just playing. I'm not really pressing down very hard because I don't know what I want to do. So I've already just brought in that touch of gold with those stickers. And it's from my mind's eye. I don't know. Do I just want to leave it? Do I want to make sentences? And so I'm just noticing there's different fonts. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I'll leave them. Look, I press them down, they're staying. So I wanted to put a, a because on this photo because Alan really does because you see how many times I say that? It's like my favorite title ever. Uh, he loves me like no one else loves me. And he's just so cute to me. So I'm not gonna put these black ones because I don't like the black, it's too harsh. And I think that there's always a reason behind what we scrapbook. And love is always a prime reason, right? You love your dog, you love your child, you love your partner, you know, you love your garden, you love your latte, you love whatever it is you're taking pictures of. You love your dinner. And I'm trying to make a word here, but I'm not seeing what I want. because it's black and white and I don't like it. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see what we can come up with these letters. I know that's not making any sense over there, but I just wanted to see what I think of it. And no, these letters will not make it. See, it says make. It will not make it onto this layout. The black is not making me feel happy. So it will go back, 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 back. And we will play with something else. Okay. So now the last thing that's left is for me to just add my own handwriting. And the sad news is that my pen is downstairs. It's not up here. And the good news is then it's less for you guys to 
watch as I fumble along because sometimes I just get so carried away that it's just too much I know and some enamel dots yes I don't have a very big stash of enamel dots I need to get some but I haven't really been to Michael's in a long time because getting my scrap tastic kits in the mail is like the best thing ever. It just, it affords me so much time to just play and not worry about whether or not I'm getting a current thing or not. Okay, so you're gonna have to forgive me that this is not a complete, complete layout but it's as good as it's gonna get for right now until I fill in the blanks. And basically what I just wanted to do was write the reasons why I think the because was in my title. You know, because he makes me feel loved, because, you know, he supports me in all the things that I do, because, you know, we fight like cats and dogs when we have to, absolutely. You know, there's no green grass without going through some brown patches, right? Life is just what it is, and uh, you make your own because page. Because whatever, whatever it is that you want to do, and uh, thanks for sticking through. And all my new subscribers, thank you kindly. Like, awesome, awesome, awesome. I am a little bit lazy from this winter, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a bit harsh, and uh, yeah, I've got to get out of this funk, so maybe tomorrow you know, when I'm with my girls and uh, we're crafting and singing and dancing, maybe that'll just jolt me back into whatever it is. But I have been focusing on a lot of other stuff too. So I hope that this layout was okay and that you're used to, you know, my honesty when I do make a video and that it is what it is. I didn't even do any splattering or sprinkles, but I do have my color shine out here. My turquoise one. Oh yeah, I bought India ink. Haven't even played with that yet. It's been a long time, girls. All right. Love what you guys are doing. Sending out lots of lots of love for a good March break. If you're going away, happy safe travels. Be safe and enjoy the sunshine. And uh, I'm not going to say see you next Saturday. I'm afraid to say that because I feel so bad. But uh, yeah. Get an old photograph of you and your loved one, whom, whomever that may be. And uh, don't be afraid that it's a really, really good close-up one that shows all of who you are and all of why you love each other so much. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for everything. And I hope that this page... Oh, yeah. Try out a Sue's. A Sue's Edge. Is that what we're going to call it? A Sue's Edge for sure. She's got the best edges ever. Okay, guys, lots of hugs and kisses, um, lots of love to all of you, and uh, keep up the good work. I truly, truly enjoy watching all the videos that I do, so um, I love it. Hooked on YouTube, awesome community. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and leaving me a comment, and uh, I'm going to try to remember more names next time to give you all a shout-out so no one feels left out, because you're not left out in my heart. You're just left out in my mind because I don't know your name, but awesome. Thank you guys so much. Take care.